three things that I learned from the recent Oscar incident where Will Smith slapped Chris Rock because of a joke that he cracked on Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. And how does that relate to anxiety? Why am I talking about this? Let's dive right in. Number one, you can feel your emotions. You're allowed to feel them. It's great to feel them, but you do not have to act on impulse and act out your emotions. Most of the time, that does not work out well. Number two, everybody's got insecurities. It's okay to accept, embrace, and then finally let go of our insecurities by laughing at them. The joke was about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair and he called her uh, G.I. Jane 2, which is again referring to a badass character in the movie G.I. Jane played by Charlie Theron, I think, with a buzz cut. So it's not such a bad thing to say, but she's been going through alopecia, which is an autoimmune disorder uh, since 2018. She's been talking about it publicly and she's quite open about this. As soon as he cracked the joke about her hair, her eyes rolled up. Will Smith was laughing before that, but when he saw her going that way, his reaction changed and decided to take matters in his own hands and make things violent. So. As a person who's been losing hair at a very young age, after having had really nice long curly hair, here's the thing I realized. I went through the whole phase of being in denial about my hair going thin. I tried different medication, different techniques. I would hate it when someone would joke about balding head, all of that. To the point today where I have embraced my identity as a cue ball. I joke about it in training programs. I put my participants at ease by saying stuff it's really uh, tacky stuff like, you know, if you guys want some more light, I can turn my head around and put some flash on you. So people just laugh about this. They calm down, relax. Why does that happen? Because everyone has insecurity. And when you can lead them and show them you can laugh at your own insecurity, people unconsciously feel at ease with their own insecurity. There is an automatic buildup of rapport and people like you naturally. So this is what I have learned from this incident. Number three, Chris Rock, man, kudos to you. It's a great example how, how two men are processing their emotions. I mean, just imagine you're just doing your job. You're a comedian. You're cracking a joke. Let's forget the whole politics of it and the ideas of what you should joke about, what you should not. But just think about it. You're doing your job. Maybe you did a bad job at it, but you're getting slapped on your face in front of a whole audience and on live television in front of the whole world. And look at the way he held, him, held himself back, his emotions. I'm sure he got upset. I'm sure he got pissed inside, but he held himself back and he continued hosting the whole show quite gracefully. And this is the power of feeling emotions, surely. But do you have to act out on your emotions on impulse? The point is the world would have forgotten that joke in one night's time. Today, the world will remember that joke. And a lot of people might hail Will Smith as this big hero, as a protector of his wife. Um, well, there are different opinions, but this is what I have learned. One, feel the emotions don't necessarily have to act on it instantly on an impulse Two, it's okay to embrace your insecurity and what the hell are you going to do anyways and three when you're met with such force of your emotion uh, from outside you still have a choice to control your reaction and come out as the better dude on the other end what do we learn about anxiety in these things? Well, when we're going through anxiety, we tend to look at things from a very close angle. And we don't need that. The whole idea is to step back and watch our thoughts and emotions from a distance. And that is by taking a few deep breaths and backing away from the problem and looking at it from a thought perspective. People get too caught up in the moment and the idea is to look back and realize that that's not the only moment in front of you. There are multiple moments innumerable going around in the universe at that time, but we are so locked in on that moment and that is where all the trouble begins. So these were the three things that I picked from this incident. I hope this helps you. Uh, what did you learn from it? Care to comment? Leave a comment uh, in the comment below. Take care.